Hank Williams Jr. can officially add himself to the Country Music Hall of Fame's Class of 2020. Williams Jr.'s induction comes almost 60 years after his father's country music icon Hank Williams' induction to the Country Music Hall of Fame. What a legacy! I'm Addison Hager for Taste of Country. Leave your favorite Hank Williams Jr. song in the comments below. And give this video a thumbs up if it's about time Hank Williams Jr. joined the prestigious list of Country Music Hall of Famers. Hank Williams Jr. has been singing country music since the 1960s and has penned a lot of staples still play today. He is known to push the envelope, singing about topics that at times were controversial. In fact, we'll jump straight into nine Hank Williams Jr. songs that really rock the establishment. Family Tradition It's arguably Hank Williams Jr.'s greatest song, certainly among his top three. In 1979, Jr. was deep into a country career, but for the most part, he was echoing his father's music before a fall from Ajax Peak in Montana in 1975. While talented, he was a nondescript country crooner until the Family Tradition album and this all-time great sing-along. I'm very proud of my daddy's name. Although his kind of music and mine ain't exactly the same, William sings. Those lyrics would define his Hall of Fame career, with the singer coming back to his father's legacy again and again. Fun fact about this song? The late Charlie Daniels lays down the fiddle part between the second and third verse. You know, before the crowd takes over. Hey, leave me alone. I'm just carrying on this old family tradition. A country boy can survive. After family tradition, Hank was rolling with songs like Whiskey Bent and Hellbound, Old Habits, Texas Women, and Kalija, a top 20 hit from 1980 with some very questionable stereotypes of American Indians by 21st century standards. Typically, when people want to call Hank a racist, they start there, but the song doesn't quite fit this rock the establishment list like some others like A Country Boy Can Survive. I got a shotgun, a rifle, and a four-wheel drive. A country boy can survive. Do you have songs like Toby Keith's Courtesy of the Red, White, and Blue without A Country Boy Can't Survive? It's his most influential song, and while it never hit number one, it became his signature. William celebrates a rural, conservative approach at a time urban cowboy music was trying to polish Nashville and make it more metro-friendly. Nope, Hank has words for the big city after describing a friend who was killed in New York City. Give this video a thumbs up if this is one of your all-time favorites. I'd love to spit some beach nut in that dude's eyes and shoot him with my old 45 cause a country boy can survive. All my rowdy friends are coming over tonight. I promise this isn't just a list of Hank's hits, but these three truly did define him. All My Rowdy Friends Are Coming Over Tonight was released in 1984, and it'd become the song that made him an icon when it became the template for his Monday Night Football theme on ABC. Beyond that, the song changed the game for other reasons. A star-studded music video won the very first music video of the year at both the CMA and ACM Awards. Raise a hand if it surprises you to know Hank was a music video innovator. He truly was, and we have more proof with song number seven. Williams was six years old when Ain't Misbehavin' was released originally, and I don't mean junior. The song was a jazz standard from 1929 that nobody expected the rough and rowdy Hank Jr. to cover on his 5-0 album. And no, he hadn't gotten soft. Country State of Mind would be his very next single, but not only until this song hit number one, later earning a Grammy nomination. You can't have a very well-rounded conversation about Hank Williams Jr. without talking about his 80s dalliance with Prohibition-era speakeasies. Born to Boogie. By 2020 standards, Born to Boogie is tame. But the New Yorker hit the nail on the head during a 2016 feature on Williams' complicated legacy. Writer David Cantwell says Born to Boogie was country radio's hardest rocking hit ever. And aside from The Devil Went Down to Georgia, we can't quite think of another. This is a little boy we've been telling you about. 
He lit a cigar and he stuck his hand out. He'd go on to win his first CMA Entertainer of the Year later this same year, and in a lot of ways, the song would mark the pinnacle of his commercial career. Money to burn and the women were pretty. It didn't take me long to learn that I was born to boogie. Things got a little more complicated in the 90s, and a lot more so in the 2000s. If the South would have won, if the South would have won, we would have had it made. I'd probably run for president of the southern states. The day Elvis passed away would be our national holiday. If the South would have won, we would have had it made. Can you imagine the names thrown at Hank Williams Jr. if he had released this song in 2020? The premise is Williams imagining how grand life would be if the Confederacy had won the Civil War. If the South would have won, I'd have had it made. I'd probably run for president of the southern states. Williams says he'd put Florida on the right track by taking Miami back, banned cars made from China, and put his face on the $100 bill. It was a top 10 hit for Hank, but it's not one that has aged well. There's a tear in my beer. Hank Jr. won his only Grammy for this song, a cover of a demo he found of his father's. Again, he ties himself to his father's legacy just as frequently as he pushes away, but for There's a Tear in My Beer, he's all in. A groundbreaking music video finds father and son sharing a stage together. Yep, it went another CMA, and then later, the Grammy. The change. We won't say Hank Jr. laid low for 20 years, because that's not true. He continued to release records in the 90s and in the early 2000s remade A Country Boy Can Survive into America Will Survive. America can survive. America will survive. That's how they do it in Dixie was his last top 40 hit, but he gained plenty of notoriety when in 2011 he released Keep the Change. This was a shot across the bow at President Obama. ESPN, and anyone who supported either after he lost his long-standing Monday night football gig for comparing Obama to Adolf Hitler. This country is sure as hell going down the drain. We know what we need. We know who to blame. He sings. You made it socialist hate of America. God and guns. 2016 found America learning about a new mass shooting almost daily, and it pit gun rights and control activists against one another. Williams made clear which side he was on, with the cover of a Leonard Skinner song called God and Guns from his It's About Time album. He said in his world, it wasn't a controversial song. Have a listen. You might as well give up and run If we let them take our God 